Hello everyone, it's me Harry, and this is the final part of my PS1 game collection video. So yep, we're on to the third part now. Games from late 2000 all the way until 2004 now. So let's start it off with Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters. So this was released on November the 24th, 2000, developed by Artificial Mind and Movement, the renaming of Behaviour Interactive, published by Infograms, and it's the sequel to Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. And this time it focuses more on two-player gameplay. And it fo and it does really focus on it a lot. It plays better as a two-player game than, um, than a single-player game. Because you have to control both um, Taz and Bugs Bunny separately. We have Incredible Crisis. So this was a Japanese um, game that was released that was... Um, ported over to North America and Europe by Titus and it's developed by Polygon Magic and distributed by Virgin Interactive. This was released also on November 24th, 2000. And you still wonder how this game ended up being released outside Japan because of just because of how absurd the whole premise is and everything. There's the disc. Next up is Mary Kate and Ashley a Magical Mystery Mole, developed um, by Z Axis, no, N Space, I mean, and published by Acclaim Entertainment. It was released on November the 27th or something of 2000. I don't know when, but it may have been December the 1st. Who knows, though? It could have been on any day. Uh, this game is bad. Really bad. Just feels like a lousy cash-in. A lousy cash-in indeed. Oh, sorry for the blankness. I'm just trying to sort out something. There we are. Noddy's Magic Adventure, published by BBC Multimedia and developed by Mind's Eye Productions, was released on December 1st, 2000. It was released on the same day as the other BBC Multimedia um, titles. Which was played with the Teletubbies and um, some Game Boy Advance titles as well. There's the disc. Yeah, I'm taking the discs out because I'm going to test them as well. Well, in real life, that is not in this video. Freestyle Motocross McGrath versus Pal Pal Palistrina or whatever. This was developed by Z Axis and published by Acclaim Entertainment under the acclaimed Max Sports banner. This was released on December the 8th, 2000. Yellow disc. And then the back of the menu has an ad for Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX. Mary Kay and Ashley Winner's Circle, developed by Tantalus and published by Acclaim Entertainment, released on March the 1st of 2001. And that for other Mary Kay and Ashley titles. There's the disc. And there we are. Oh, the cover art was stuck. <coughs> Excuse me. Lego Island 2 The Brixter's Revenge, developed by um, developed by um, yeah, Silicon Dreams and published by Lego Media or Lego Software in actionality on the packaging. I mean on the disc itself, game itself. Released on March the 31st, 2001. It came out on the same day as the um, it's the PC version. So all these games that I've meant I've shown you at this point have all been PS1 exclusives or have been on the PC as well. Yeah, this was on the Game Boy Color in advance as well. And it has a little um poster for with pepperoni on it. UEFA challenge. 
developed by Infogram Sheffield House and published by Infograms and was released on April the 13th, 2001. It was also on the PS2 and the PC. This is just a UEFA licensed football game. And it's like the successor to the Actua football or Actua soccer franchise. Except this, like with PGA Tour Golf's PS1 version, it was only released in Europe. The successor to the Actua tennis franchise was... Um, was um, Forgotten. Yeah, Slab and Tennis. I almost forgot the name of the game. And then the disc itself, if you saw already, is is bright and green. Next up is Egypt to the Halopolis Prophecy. Published by Cryo, developed by Cryo. And was released on... Um, May the 15th, 2001, it was also on the PC as well, like with the original Egypt. There we are. Oh, the case is broken off. Let me put it back on. Yeah, I'll, I'll deal with it later. Inspector Gadget Gadget's Crazy Maze. This was developed um, by um, Vision Media, published by Ubisoft and Light and Shadow Production. Released on June the 8th, 2001. So this is a puzzle game with the Inspector Gadget license. It has very little to do with the franchise as well. It, you can you could put in any other franchise and nothing would be different. It it, it just very loosely is based is an Inspector Gadget license game. Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, released on June the 18th, 2001, developed by Darkworks, published by Infograms. This is the original version of the game. Then the enhanced one was on the Dreamcast, then that was ported to the PC and then the PS2 in Europe. It's a two-disc game, like with the Dreamcast version and, well, the PC version, I think, was three discs. And this was when Ifagrams tried to make Alone in the Dark um, a Resident Evil type game. But, and it, I don't know if it did very well or not. They did promote it. And, that, and surely that must have meant something. Dave Mira Freestyle BMX Maximum Remix. So this is the enhanced version of the original Dave Mira Freestyle BMX. And this was developed by um, Z-Axis and published by Acclaim Entertainment and was released on June the 30th, 2001. So it includes, um, so it includes the Maximum Remix disc and a um, soundtrack CD that has music from the game. Sheep, Dog and Wolf, developed by Infogram's um, Lion House and published by Infogram's. This was released on September the 7th, 2001. And it was also on the PC as well. There we are. In all sorts of different languages. And this is usually classified as one of the most underrated PlayStation titles. Mainly for its original gameplay and all that. Certainly does well as an original, like an original title, even though it's a Looney Tunes based game. And it certainly showed how Infograms was de dedicated to the Looney Tunes franchise, unlike Warner Brothers nowadays. Pajama Sam, you are what you eat from your head to your feet. So this is the PS1 port of, um, the, of the first um, Pajama Sam game. So this was developed by Humongous Entertainment, ported by RuneCraft and published by Infograms released on September the 23rd, 2001. And this is the, and it utilizes the UK voices as well. So that's very interesting. Doesn't translate very well to a console though, which they did, which Humongous and um, Tomo did fix up um, on the Switch. Junior Sports Football. This is the PS1 port of um, Backyard Soccer. 
or backyard football as it's called in the UK. Once again, this is from Humongous and was ported by RuneCraft and published by Infograms, released on September the 21st, 2001 as well. It, can, it has a poster with it as well, with stickers. There's the manual, which does advertise Pajama Sam on it. And it has a very nice green CD-ROM. Mary Kay and Ashley Crush Course, developed by Z-Axis, published by Acclaim Entertainment, released on, on October the 31st, 2001, I believe. So this is the third of, and the last of the PS1 Mary Kay and Ashley licensed games. Pretty bad game, actually. Why does it even exist? I think it was on the um, PC as well. I don't know. Men in Black, the series Crashdown. Developed by RuneCraft and published by Infograms. It's based on uh, Men in Black. And um, the series... Released on November the 2nd, 2001. Green disc again, like, to represent the Men in Black franchise. Mm. Powerpuff Girls Chemical Extraction. Developed by Viz Entertainment. And published by BAM Entertainment. Released on... November the 29th, 2001. Pink disc representing the Powerpuff Girls itself. And, it and it's distributed by Ubisoft outside the UK. Goofy's Fun House, developed by the Code Monkeys and published by um, New Kid Co., published by Ubisoft in Europe. I do believe this may have come out earlier, but the date I've got listed is December the 7th, 2001. Manual with an end for extremely goofy skateboarding. And there's the disc as well. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot to do something. There we are. Yeah, it was, yeah, I just had to sort out something quickly. And now we're on to 2002, so we're near the end now. Atari Anniversary Edition Redux, developed by Digital Eclipse, published by Infograms, released on March the 1st, 2002. So this is a compilation of Atari arcade games. it replaces two of them with different ones compared to the PC version and the Dreamcast version. Oh yeah, I've got... Oh, no, never mind. Full, full, I forgot something again. Let's move back. Dexter's Laboratory Mandark's Lab, released on May the 4th, 2002. This is based on Dexter's Laboratory, developed by Red Lemon Studios, published by BAM Entertainment. Oh, uh, the hinges on mine are broken, so yeah. There's the disc. Pretty much the same as the um, cover art. Really need a new case for this, because both the hinges are broken. Went, I think something went wrong. There we are. Shrek Treasure Hunt. Developed um, developed by the Code Monkeys and published by TDK Media Active in on um, November the 15th, 2002. One of the worst PS1 games I have ever played. Looks terrible, plays terrible. Overall, just a disgrace to the PS1 lineup, even for a very late title. Because I did say it did come out in 2002. 
There's the disc. Very underwhelming as well. Beyblade Let It Rip. Developed by um, Takara, I guess. I don't know. The developer's not even listed on the um on the um thing itself. It's published by um Atari Europe UK, released on May August the 23rd, 2003. It's a late PS1 title because of the Peggy rating. There's the manual, and then there's the disc. And last but not least in this video is the Driver 1 and 2 double pack release, which was released to coincide with the release of Driver 3, and it includes the first and second game. Both developed by Reflections, this was published by GT Interactive, this was published by Infograms, and this version of the game was published by Atari, and it was released sometime around May of 2004. So both the games are re rated as 12 rated titles. And inside you get different versions of the games. You get ones with Atari branded discs on them. Even the manuals have Atari branding on them as well. And there we are. I put them in a different case because um, the case that this came with prior was broken. I had to go with a different one. There's um, Driver 2's um, discs. And then there's the manual as well with the Atari logo on it. And then there we are. So that is my PS1 game collection completed. Hope you enjoyed um, the three parts I made. And yeah, going to do some more video game videos very soon. So yeah, see you later, everyone. And bye for now.